what I find is that the crowds seem to be more impassioned. Like the way that they're able to relate, because we have social media and they have such access to us, in daytime in particular, because you're on every day already, right? So they have this intimate relationship with you. And now that we're talking about it or tweeting about it and Facebooking or whatever, there's this access to it. So it feels more... I think it's just the opposite. Do you? I think because we're so saturated that the fans feel like they get to see us and do the social media so they don't come out. Back in the day when I started daytime, there were there were like seven magazines, and they read the articles and did whatever. And then we go to these shopping malls, and literally there would be five thousand fans on a Saturday, right. mostly to meet the guys. I mean, my husband at the time, back in the day, was like a big soap star. Women literally ripped his shirt off. I mean, they would come up because right. they just that was their only chance to get to meet right. and talk to them and to touch That's them. True. But. I do think you're right, though. The numbers were bigger because now we're so accessible. Much, much bigger. Now we're so accessible. Like, so it gets oh, saturated. I talked to my Twitter yesterday. But the fans, in and of themselves, are impassioned because we do come into their home right. five days a week. And, you know, they're trying to catch every little right. aspect of this man that they possibly right. can, whether it's through his Twitter account or his Facebook account or in the magazines. Well, that's true. No, I think you're right. That's probably true. I love the mess of my life. The show. Oh yeah! I mean, it's so right. fun. I, you know, I read the script and go, "Are you kidding me?" Right. So I'll find him. I go, "Do you know that this happens? You She's read like, me the Riot Act. You know that, don't you?" Yeah. I said, "I'm gonna slap you," because it's fun. I love. Uh, you know, it's you not know boring. What's happen it's in not given boring. Day. I mean, and you don't know in real itself. life either, so it's good. Right. Like you're like, oh my god, what am I going to do? To do? And you find out what you're going to do in this world. You know, and then you go home and you go, oh, great. You try to, and that's the challenge is we'll making it work. It's like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to make this work. Oh, yeah, which is typically impossible. Like, yeah. You know, or for example, I'm solving diseases the CDC can't solve. Or <laughs> a heart trance from an igloo cooler. Yeah. And or, I'll massage it to life. Or sex with Kristen sex Demera. With Kristen Demera in a dungeon. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Attached, in a, you know, hanging out in the back of a van. You know. Tied up, whipped, there you go. beaten. What's, there you go. It can happen in any given day. You just I don't know. Question. This is a day to thank them and to celebrate 50 years or 49 years of this show being on network yeah. television yeah. and entertaining people every day. We're just Here to say pawns thank you. in the entertainment business. Yeah. You know what they've been able to do for, what, five decades now? Is to be able to give fantasy, romance, intrigue, all of it in one hour to tell good stories. And that's it. And there's going to be some that you like, and there's going to be some that you don't like, and there's going to be some that break your heart and some that lift your heart up. So, you know, the storytelling here, we've got seven stories going simultaneously. Some are, are not the A story, they might be the F story, but everybody gets their chance to shine, and it's, um, I think they do a great job on the show. It's a good harmony.